Giving your visitors a way to connect to your content is important to growing your social media network. With the Subscribe, Connect, Follow widget plugin, it is simple to set up buttons in your sidebar of your site for visitors to easily subscribe to email updates, your RSS feed, connect to LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and other social media networks. To get started, let's go to the dashboard. From the dashboard, we've gone to Plugins, Add New, and now we're on the Install Plugins page. I'm going to search for the Subscribe, Connect, Follow widget. There it is. I'm going to choose Install Now. OK. I'm going to activate the plugin. And now I'm going to go to Appearance Widgets to start working with the plugin. Here's your Subscribe, Connect, Follow widget. Now I've already prepared one and I'm going to pull it up here and put it into the primary widget area slash sidebar. And let's open it up. So the first thing that you can customize is the title. Right now it says Subscribe, but you could choose to type in anything you want for the title there. The display format right now are those nice big buttons. You can also choose to have different sizes and other options here. The alignment is theme default, which was working great. Now you can choose when a visitor clicks the button for the link to open in the same window or when they click the button for the link to open in a new window. Your choice. Services. Now you can have up to five services. And I'm going to add FeedBurner email subscription. I like that because that produces that little envelope button on the front page. What I'm going to need to activate this is the feed name and that's just this final part here of the feed burner address of your feed. So I'm going to just go ahead and type that in to get that going. Now when you're um, using any of the feed burner options you will need just the feed name. This feed burner feed produces a button with a little fire feed burner icon on it. Now I wanted my RSS feed to have the traditional uh, orange RSS icon for people to get it through their feed reader. Now um, I chose RSS feed for posts and if you note there are other options here, RSS feed and RSS feed for comments. We're using posts and any of the RRS com, uh, options will produce that orange icon. When it's in back of this it says URL, that stands for address. And so you want to get the complete address of your feed burner feed. So um, if you did the feed burner configuration plugin, you can just click on that and open it in a new tab here and copy it and bring it over here and just paste it in. It's a good idea to get a list started on a document in your computer of these uh, website addresses, uh, your passwords, your usernames, all of these things. You're going to need them often so it's good to have them handy and ready to go when you need them. Now let's go to the Twitter part. There, Twitter, you'll need your username, so just type it in here. My username is Sue Sertum, so I put it there. And then I want to show you how to get your, uh, your LinkedIn and your Facebook profile your addresses. This is something that I don't know why, but they're not real easy to find, so let me show you how to do that. Let's go get your LinkedIn profile name. So here I am on the home page of LinkedIn. And I'm going to type in my first name and my last name. And when I do that, up here in the address bar is my LinkedIn public profile address. I'm going to copy that, come back to my uh, widget, and just paste it right here. Now, for the Facebook, let's go get it now. Now, in Facebook, I'm on my profile page. And up here is the address, and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to Account, Log Out. And then I'm going to paste that address that I saved. 
and then here I am again and here is my public address. I'm going to copy that and paste it into the Facebook field here that's available. When I've done all that I'm going to click Save. Let's go see how our plugin looks on the home page. There it is, all our subscribe and connect buttons. Let's stress the email. Just fill in your email address here and it will activate your subscription to Social Media 101. If you do that, you'll get all our greatest tips, articles, everything timely delivered to your email box. We'd like to do that for you. Subscribe today. Thank you.